as we are here today, welcome to a game called Mafia 3. This is um, a new game. Well, I mean, not new game, I guess. Hmm. Um. Oh wow, well, I like got um, I don't know, aim assist, I guess. Seems like um. I have no idea what this game's about. I'm going in blind, like I did with the Sniper Elite. And guys, I'm saving up. All right. Mafia 3 takes place in the fictionalized version of American South in 1968. We start to create an authentic and immersive experience that captures this very turbulent time and place, including depictions of racism. We find the racist beliefs, language, and behaviors of some characters in the game abhorrent. abhorrent but believe it's all virtual to include these deceptions in order to tell a making clear story. Most importantly, we felt that not to include the real p damn it. Oh hey. Dun 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 I had the song before. Louisiana. That's creepy. Never played the first two mafias. I'm hoping that you don't need to play two. Play the first two. That's true. I'm sorry to say that, but it is actually true. It made me cry after saying that. This guy's voice so calm and peaceful.
Yeah, Louisiana. I live in Louisiana. I'm not gonna tell you where. We had gators, two chickens, 75 cents. See, they have those, see the gator? <laughs> they might be coming back for more. Oh crap, it was in the fire. <laughs> um, turns out they're in the fire. Lincoln, pick up the keys. Did I just go through that? My leg. What the hell? Oh. Still not sure about leaving him like this. He came through with the truck just like we asked. He mm -hmm. increased his partner to make mm -hmm. it look good. You got that? I'm watching with my headphones. Why take the mm -hmm. chance? Mm -hmm. oh, I can pick up body. Hey. We should get going. Right. You got the keys so you can drive. Come on, let's get the hell out of here. to get to that. Maybe next time don't have to do that. You get a move on. Let's go. Where? How? I don't want to drive. Hold up, is this music copyrighted? This music is probably copyrighted. Take it easy heading to town. We don't need the cops crawling up our asses. My old man wanted us to keep one of the guards alive, help throw the feds off the trail. Like you said, I take a chance. Besides, if I learn anything from being over in Nam, someone's willing to flip sides once, we're probably willing to do it a second time. Fuck you in the process. So answer me this: What's the craziest thing you saw over there? You don't want to know. Hell, man, I'm a taxpayer. I got the right to know how my money's being spent. Oh, Georgie Marcano pays taxes. Damn right I do. That's how they got Al Capone, and I ain't going to prison for no fucking tax bill. Huh? Are you going to answer the question or what? We, uh... We on the coast of Quang Nai. Evacuating the civvies for Charlie overran every day. Anyway, we getting them onto a medical ship, and this woman walks up. She got a baby Where's in one hand. Watch out! <laughs> Where was I? Anyway, we get him onto a medical ship. This woman walks up. She got a baby in one hand and the leash to a pig in the other. She starts up the okay. ramp and the MP stops her and tells her, you can only bring one thing on board. So she tosses the baby into the water. MP goes ape. Tells someone dive in after the kid, starts screaming at the woman, wants to know what the fuck she's thinking. You know what she says to him? She says, I can always have another baby. Jesus fucking Christ. Hey, man, you asked. <laughs> yeah, but I thought you were going to tell me a story about some goop getting his dick blown off or something. I mean, god damn. It's not a fault. 
<laughs> Not like you think. Conditions over there, man. Jesus Christ. One day you're raising cattle, oh, yeah, tending your rice. Like Next day everything here. bomb flat. You put people up against the wall. They will do anything to survive. That better been one delicious fucking pig. at the reserve probably won't be too keen on you waltzing around with that piece of yours. I'll just leave it under the seat. They're so racist here, right? Have to see if these forged IDs are worth a fuck. I'll tell you, yeah. More important than you. I love my way. No! State Bank Federal Reserve of Louisiana. When I yeah, say something about being hot, that's when we make our move. All right. Now, here we go. <laughs> Open the door. Put your IDs up the glass. We're part of the Boeing crew. Von Cook. What the fuck's this shit heel doing here? Affirmative action. You know how it is. Old country is spinning around a goddamn toilet. Hey, what? You can Move follow me. Here, please. As for you, go on and grab those bags off the truck. You'll be carrying them to the burn room. How much y'all bring in? $238,546. Small bills, mostly. And I'll have Miss Gale call up to your office when we're done. She'll confirm the delivery. I can do three. Come Appreciate on, boy. It. Um, God, I don't know where this stuff is. Uh, yeah, what up? You need to check that scatter gun. You packing anything? Still in training. Good. One less goddamn thing for me to worry about. You can pick it up on the way out. Alright, don't mess with it. Don't fire it. I think it's expensive. Buying rooms down in the cellar. This way. I ain't seen y'all around these parts before. Y'all's over yeah, in Georgia right. for a while. He just got out the service. And my cousin's been trying to get on here for over a year now. Was in the Navy for two tours. Got medals falling out of his ass. I don't know if you want to do Thanks, but no thanks. That's a crock of shit if I ever heard one. Sad day when a god fearing white man can't get a job. But ain't your nigga who staggers in his hide on the spot. Hey. No. I'm gonna get demonetized. It's not like I make any money about it. Bum, ba -dum, bum. Bum, ba -dum, you bastards better not be playing with each other back there. <laughs> I was. Fuck you! Christ, look at that. 
Didn't know y'all held that much gold. Uh, Washington's been shuffling around on account of the war. He's here, he gets sent to Dallas, and it comes back. Yeah, it doesn't make a lick of goddamn sense. Here we are. We gonna burn it? Why are we gonna burn it? Put those bags on the table there. Never done this detail before. Figured it'd be bigger. That gets the job done. Only time there's a problem is when the flu clogs up. Fuck. That's some heat right there. We used to use coal for it, but a year or so back we switched over to oil. Maintains a more consistent flame. Here's some guy come around the house trying to sp <laughs> Oh! God, that guy was an asshole. We need to move. Danny and Ellis should be coming up any time now. Uh, give me a second. <clears throat> Take this boy up. You come here anywhere to oil, yeah? uh, You, you take care of those here. guards. Keep your ass down. You don't want them getting a drop on us. I know what the fuck I'm doing. You can't see me? I'm a snake, boy. You know that house we've been renting out? Called over there last night. Told them I wanted to sell it. I told them they needed to be out in two weeks. And the man, his name's uh, John, starts laying into me. Saying the lease gives them the right to a 30-day notice. That's how he's supposed to find a new place in two weeks. So I tell him none of that's my goddamn problem. No one cares. All right, no one cares. You're mean anyway. Give me that again, boy. Lincoln, get over here, man. Dun 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 Call me Godzilla. Rather be Mothman. God damn. I know, right? No robbery if it's something. a cop. Alright. They should have that as a um God damn, we should kick the hornet's nest. This time. 
Only way we walk out of here is if we get the weapons stored in that armory. Bust the door open. I'll watch our asses. Yeah. My old man gonna shit a brick when he hears about this. Fuck! Fuck! Come on, open! Help me out. Somebody help me. Go over here. Over here. Give me that damn thing. Okay, come on, man. You called me Godzilla earlier. I gotta get my rage out on something, you know. There we go. Pop, 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 pow. Expose the lock. Rotate until it's in the green zone. Then press the uh, square. Step two. Pull the lock. Press square. Wind indicator is in the green zone. And, Way worse than this over in Nam. The smoke don't be shit. Stay close to the vault. Watch for the drill. I'll deal with these assholes. One shot, got him. One week before Mario. All right, so this is the day before Mario. This is like time, the time before the start. He doesn't look. He doesn't look black. He looks more like Mexican or um, Ar Arab. I don't know. Can you show up? Let's burn his skin off. Yo, what up? I thought that was hot stuff. I thought that was hot stuff. Actually, the that's still littering, you know. Since we got your telegram about coming home, he's been climbing the walls. What if the plane crashes? What if the train's delayed? What if they call him back? 
And he goes stand in front of the kitchen window and sip his whiskey like he was expecting you to come strolling up the sidewalk. <laughs> Don't say nothing about me telling you that. I won't. He'll be fine once he sees you. Ever since. Hey. I was trying to do the uh, hand, uh, hand break. <laughs> All right, I don't know how that happened. Where was I? He'll be fine once he sees you. Ever since Mama Hell, you know how he gets. Fuck it, it's your car. Bash it up all you want. Oh, you and Father Father got to you. This ain't no man, chill the fuck out! Fuck that! <laughs> yeah, fuck that. Out of my way! Oh, right? Hmm, flash, flash. It's not all over again. Please do wear this. Oh, alright. You remember Marty and Ron Langford? Sure. They moved up to Empire Bay a year or so after you shipped out. Started selling weed. They called and asked me if I want something. I say, show. Sure. It's free money as far as I'm concerned. Anyhow, a month back, Marty drops me a line that says they're moving to heroin, that they're looking for a partner down around these parts. Can't imagine Sammy was too keen on that. I never told him about the weed. That ain't nothing to nobody. But this, I gotta talk to him about. I ain't said more than three words, and he's yelling about the feds. How we don't need J. Edgar up our asses, and what the fuck am I thinking? Selling dope with kids running around the neighborhood. We ain't selling no dope to no children. <laughs> like they got any money to begin with. Fucking around aside, that was pretty serious shit. Knew a yeah. couple guys over in Nam who were running it. Wound up pissing off the wrong person. Got their throats cut. Shit, man, I know what's what. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm talking to Georgie about it. There's no way Sal's gonna go along with that. Georgie says he can keep his old man from fighting out. We'll still clear the hollow in Frisco, just selling the French wall. Georgie's Uncle Lou won't say shit as long as we give him a taste of the action. I don't know, man. Georgie's a cool cat and all, but heroin ain't the kiddie pool. Come in on it with us. I bet he'd agree to a three-way split. <sighs> I don't know. I kind of need to lay low a bit, figure some things out. Yeah. Fuck it, it's your car. Bash it up all you want. It's not my fault. Anyway, yeah. All right. <laughs> Come on, we're going through the front. Out of the way. Having your wall here, I ask is the back door. Watch what you doing. Yo, what up? That guy looks like mafia. That's what my mom would say. Alright, I'm from Louisiana. I don't even know what the hell that means. Sounds like my dad.
My grandpa was in Vietnam. He's still alive. He's like 78. PTSD, bro. I'm surprised you don't have a hangover. I mean, y'all did a lot of drinking. Right again. Complete circle I just did. Well, the most likely. Three month apprenticeship to start, then the union lets you in. You tell Sammy and Ellis? Not yet. Well, guys, I'm going to leave it off on here. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Please subscribe if you're new to my channel. I really need. I really want y'all to enjoy this series. It sounds like a very good game. I would be very glad to do a series on this. Next hour! Already did. I'm very uh, excited to do a series on this. It was a free game, too. But that's all I have to say for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Please subscribe if you're new to my channel, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye! <laughs>